All right, what's good tonight, are you family? Welcome back to YouTube. Um, you know how it rolls. Let's start the intro. Let's go. Welcome to Onyx Raw Podcasts, where we share stories of inspiring people. Stories from their journey on YouTube, Polytube, local businesses, and much more. They share tips and tricks to help you be successful. And you hear it first here on Onyx Raw. Look, I'm here with... It's out now, artist. What's up, sis? What's up? So what we're going to do today is we're going to create some beautiful blonding in the hair. Yes? And then we're going to be uh, talking about business. So a bit of a hair podcast. Can you introduce yourself, sis? Hi, I'm Queen. I am a new nail lady here. I'm Sassy Nails. Yes, Sassy, Sassy. Nails. <laughs> How long have you been doing nails? About 10 years. That's sweet. So you're going to see the journey of her hair. This is the process. Guess what I'm going to get done too? My nail as well. Stay tuned, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. Asus. Right, like and subscribe. I'll put her Insta and her Facebook yeah. down here. So please go follow her and also come support if you're in Perth or if you're anywhere that you're allowed to come into WA. <laughs> well, it's WA on WA. WA. It's <laughs> her before, guys. And we're gonna give a really, really cool transformation as well. I'm gonna mix up her color. You're gonna see more of these uh, well, I hope I don't get copyrighted for that, but you're going to see more of these videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoy it. We want to help businesses out there on the COVID at the moment. We are absolutely freaking busy. I'm telling you, we've never, ever been as busy as we are, but our borders are closed. Things are a little bit different here, but business is still the same, man. So let's have a look what we're mixing. So these are our normal tint bowls over here, right? That's it there. But... I like to use a cereal bowl because, you know, it's just easy. You don't have to come back all the time. So I'm just putting in so four scoops of the bleach there, guys. And then the 30 volt as well. So that's the 30 volt there. Color on. We love color on. It's a, I don't know if it's new, but it's been around for us. About maybe two years. And uh, we're having some fun with it. Really cool color. So put that in as well. All right, let's go and do this, guys. Let's go. Don't forget, also subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, how long have you been in business, babe? Or how long have you been doing nails? Ten years already. Ten, Ten years. years. So I met Twee, everyone. Everyone's like, who's Twee? Twee does <laughs> our nails. And uh, we had about 25 applications for our nail section. Oh, really? Yep. That's a lot. It's a lot. That's we had people lot. from Perth. We had a girl moving here from Kalgoorlie. They wanted oh, to do wow. it. But yeah. we just got drawn to the beautiful tweet. Straight away, we're like, when can you start? <laughs> Not that she's only amazing at what she does, but she's also very humble. So I jumped on. She was also on what, another, I think, what's your gym's page? Oh, T, podcast? Uh, uh, the Body Consultants. Body my, Consultants, yeah. yeah. Uh, my coach, Andrew, does uh, Chasing Better with Noxie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully I'll get to jump on his podcast soon. And you'll jump on yours, right? Yes. So jump on yours. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, but I went and saw Twee's uh, podcast on there and I was really inspired by her story from where she came from. And we all have a story, Aces. Yeah, we all have a story. We all have a story. And, that, and I guess that brings us to where we are today. So, just want to ask if you could share that story again for the <laughs> viewers of Onyx Air Crew tonight, family. On Chasing Daily with Noxie, we were talking about how. Um, how I first came to Australia. So yeah. I moved here when I was four years old. My mum was originally from Vietnam. Yep. And so just adjusting. Just you know, adjusting just again. Ah, uh, yeah, from original Vietnam. She fled during, during the war. She was a boat person. She's a refugee. She uh, was attacked by pirates on the way. Her boat was crashed into. So um, the, about, I think 20 people on her boat died. Only, oh, shit, eh? Yeah, so she was captured for a little period of time. Don't know how long exactly. Yeah. Um, so this is what happened before Twee came along? Yeah, before I came along. And along. your sister? Yeah, yeah. Before, before me, before my sister. Because originally my cousin was supposed to go with her. Yeah. And he was only about uh, maybe 10 or 
or somewhere around wow. there at the time. Yeah. Wow. He, he tried the first time to go with her, but before they could even like uh, leave the shores, their boat got pulled back by um, patrol and police. Why they were still in Vietnam. So if he went the actual like third time she tried, he would have been yeah, gone. Yeah, he would have been gone. From this, is where did Bum go when? When she was found. So yeah. So after she was captured, she floated off to shore. Mum was out on a coral. Um, her friend floated into uh, like a beach and said there was another person out there. So um, after that, they went out. They found Mum. They brought her back in. So she was in Thailand for a total of about six years. I came along probably like a year and a half afterwards because yep. she met my dad there. You were born over in there Thailand, or in Australia? In Thailand. In Thailand? Thailand. Yes. Yeah, wow. Yes, I was born in a little, little refugee camp in yeah. Thailand. And then you guys moved here when? Uh, when I was four. When I was four, oh, yeah. So originally wow. we were supposed to go to America. That's right. Yeah. I heard that on the podcast. Yeah, we were supposed yeah, to go yeah. to America. Yeah, um, yeah. But we couldn't go. We got uh, Mum got rejected in her paperwork. Yeah, so we applied for Australia and we got accepted um, on the refugee program that they were doing at the time. What a yeah. crazy story, know, eh? Right? Crazy good story. This, so my next question is, how did this inspire you? Did it change your life when you found out or? I think like when I found out, I was a bit, I was a bit young, so I didn't take like a full grip of it yet. Yeah, yeah, so I was yeah. Like, oh, it's also a story. And it was also the time when, um, you know, like, I was getting into Christianity as well. Oh, you know, yeah. found my faith as well. And then as that developed, I was like, oh, wait a minute, you know, let's just stop rewind and think about what my mom has just told me it, it didn't really sink in straight away yeah it was more like oh it could just be one of those stories where it's exaggerated you yeah. know like all this stuff yeah. but then thinking back about it um there's so many refugees in australia at that time that went through the same program right yeah however mom's one was a bit more extreme get refugees that they ended up in in china in hong kong but it was more leisurely yeah, their ride yeah. was so easy they just arrived over there, then they stayed there for like years and it was just so smooth and they had no issues, no troubles at all. And here's mum like gone through all of that just to get here for a better life for her and yeah. her family. Yeah. You know, that was like before knowing that she would, you know, have me as well. So it was just her wanting a better life for her entire family. Yeah. You know, like grandma and she has like 10 siblings, you know. And she's number eight. She's number eight in the family. So she's like the baby almost. Eh? Yeah, yeah. And she's only one of the three girls. Wow. Yeah, so she's like number eight of the middle of the three girls. They yeah, have. yeah. After that, and then, you know, building a better relationship with my mum as well and getting to know the full story of how, what life was like in Vietnam. They lived in like a literal straw hut. You know, like maybe yeah. like 10 people in a straw hut, no room, so nothing. And then, um, you know, she's like, oh, back then we couldn't even afford rice to eat. No one would even let us buy it because we were so poor. Grateful to actually be in Australia and not yeah. in America, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love you, American love subscribers, you America. though. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Why I wanted to have her sit down in my podcast, because I loved her story, but also because she's in business. And I wanted to see how that inspired you to where you are today. Well, mainly, well, because I've been in doing nails for like 10 years, so since I was about 19-ish. Wait, 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 we're not being racist or anything, but what's that? What's that? <laughs> what do you always say? You want nail? You want nail today? Honey, you want the boyfriend? <laughs> Yes, what um, inspired this? Um, I don't know, I think I just fell into nails. I left uni. <laughs> was not um, uni was not for, for twee, uh, let's put it that way. Yeah. So, <laughs> she did not do well in her classroom. <laughs> <laughs> don't give you a test. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't give no. me a book and pen, like yeah. <laughs> read, read these lectures, watch these lectures, like no. And she's like <sighs> And the next one's like twee! You know, <laughs> uh, I didn't even go to my lectures, eh? <laughs> <laughs> But look at you now. I know, look, look at you now. At you now. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I, I needed a job, so I walked into like a nail salon, and I was really naive. I thought I was going to be like front of house reception. <laughs> 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 that was um, that that was so dull. Yeah. <laughs> that was so <laughs> front of house. <laughs> um, so they. <laughs> that's so, like that's like me hiring a junior, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, come over, do a haircut now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Color on now. 
section hair. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my first day they threw me into like pedicures and I was like, you know, what what, what the F am I doing? <laughs> what, what do you mean to a pedicure? What is a pedicure? I've never had a pedicure in my life. Oh, you should. Yeah, like I was like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, oh no. But turns out, because like I like doing practical things with my hands and you know, physical stuff, I ended up being really good at it. Yeah. So I started at the bottom, we started at the bottom, we were at Petty Hills for a few years. And where is this? We were doing Petty Hills for a few years. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No one let me move up for a while because um, the nail industry, they let you move up in sections. Stages. But stages. Yeah. But they yeah. like to take their time because they don't want to pay you more. Yeah. And then all the, um, you know, old, older, you know, senior staff would always like push you down because they don't want you to steal their jobs. So they push you down to do like headies all the time. Really never got to do like a manicure until about a year and a half later. Yeah. Um, and then after that, then I moved around into a few stores, learned a few different things from different people. Always, always be willing to learn, guys. Like, no matter who it is, always take it in. Like, don't think you know everything because yeah. you don't. It's always so good to learn from everyone and anyone. Um, That's so true because I believe you take something from this person, take something yeah, from this person. person over your journey and it creates you. Yeah, right? Exactly, it creates yeah. your style. Yeah. What got me here is like, I saw you this ad on Facebook. I was also tagged in it by one of my close friends, Heidi. Shout, Shout out to Heidi! Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually wasn't going to message him. Bish! I know. <laughs> I was actually really nervous, really scared. Really? Yeah. What made you nervous though? Because it was um, it was getting out of like my comfort zone because I worked yeah. in a salon for so long, right? And that's like that's like steady income, it's a steady job. Yeah. Like no matter where I go, I'll be able to get a job instantly, yeah. you know, like just like that, no problems. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll get paid, I'll never be out of the job. Mm. Right? So to right. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So to, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you know, and I was trying to buy a house guys. <laughs> yeah. So but um then I was like, oh, but if I never took, if I don't take the opportunity now as it presents itself, am I ever going to do it? Yeah. And I can't wait until, you know, December to do it because then I'll be like, I'll feel bad towards, you know, my the, the bosses that I have because you can't leave during Christmas. It's like, yeah. oh, spoke to a few people, prayed over it, prayed with some other people, asked yeah. advice from other people, prayed some more. Um, and then it got me to the decision to just go and do it. You know? I guess what we're saying is take the plunge. Yeah, sure. You know, you never know. Life's too short. Know. We know we're in we're in the Rona stages at the moment, and who knows what will happen tomorrow. Yeah. You know, we will have you will have those fears as your journey becomes a lot more steady and a lot more successful. But you learn. You, you learn. learn how to overcome it. Yeah, like my message was very long, guys. I did apologize. I was like, sorry for my long message and many questions. <laughs> Yeah. But I'm a very straightforward person, so I wanted to lay it out. It's like, you know, what's this? What's, what's, the, what's the go? What is, what is, you know, the financial side? What's the cost? What are the outgoings? Yeah. And all that. He took like a week to reply to them. He <laughs> yeah, was, I did. He, he was busy. He was busy. But I was busy with all the other girls, so I was trying to yeah, yeah, yeah. take it down into, you know, <laughs> okay, who called first? Who called second? Who called 25th? You know? But finally got to tweet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was like the last. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You were second last. Oh, really? Yeah, you were second oh, last. Yeah. yeah, you were second last. But to all of those who did apply for it, man, thank you for applying. We do wish you the success in anything that you guys are doing, but this is Tweet. You take it on. <laughs> Let's talk about your future. Oh, the future. Yeah, do, 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 oh, the future do, 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 with the do, 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 do. Onyx hair crew. <laughs> <laughs> so that lease hasn't been. Um no, I feel like like I said, I feel like it was it was just meant to be. It was yeah. just so easy and I didn't feel heavy about the decision either mm -hmm. for the future. She um, left within seven days at the last job. <laughs> She's like, did my quit? I was like, already? <laughs> you told me you're gonna give him two weeks. No, he gave me two days then. He was like, you gotta decide by Friday. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, I came in, I here, did, yeah. I came in on the Wednesday yeah. to do my brows with Manu. <laughs> Guys, go do your brows with Manu, it's so great. Shout out to Manu! But um, yeah, and we didn't plan an official meeting or anything. I was just like, yeah, I think I'll do my brows at the same place. I'll just see you then, okay? Yeah. Wait, it's the wrong way. <laughs> wrong way, guys, hold on! Typical tease. So as you know, and if you probably don't know, <laughs> I'll post it up here somewhere in the links, that we love donuts. Tina and your family absolutely loves donuts. So I sat down and went, have a donut. <laughs> 
friends he goes yeah have one, have one. and you know give me an answer by friday <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years, say? In five years? Yeah. Oh man. Um, in five years, we're retired on an island. Yeah, that's the dream, right? <laughs> really. You'll be on that island with me. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, five years is a bit long. How about, how about in the next 12 months? Yeah, 12 months, in yeah. The next 12 months, yeah. yeah. In the next 12 months, I see myself launching Sassy Now into bigger and better things. Yeah. Into like. So are you gear. talking about products? Maybe. 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 Nail polish. There, did we get there? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, may, maybe a YouTube channel. You know, like yes. nail, nail chats. I'll yeah. spill. I'll spill the tea on the nail industry for you guys. Questions. That's like, a good one, sis. Yeah, nail chats. Nail chats, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like hair chats, nail chats. Yeah. Comment down below if you want her to do a channel. Yeah. I'll spill the tea. I'll tell you what they're really saying about you. <laughs> <laughs> when you go get your nails done. Yeah. Um, so you see yourself. Um, exploring different avenues. Yeah, exploring or, different yep. avenues. Uh, building up my my like client profile yep. more as well. Yeah. Um, I've been really blessed since I've been down in Mandurah for the past you know five or six years, yeah. and I have a very loyal following. Yeah. Of clients, you know who you are if you watch this. <laughs> What's some advice? Is hmm. just talking about your uh, clients that you already have. How do you achieve this for those who are wanting to start a business or finding it hard to retain clients? Because what we find as well is we're not getting as much new ones, which is good. Is where a point where you want to be in a business. Yeah. Because you want your clientele that to have, come back, right? To come back all the time. Yeah, 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 exactly. So what are some tips that they can take away as a business owner to, to help retain someone? If you just be yourself, in all honesty, yeah. don't, don't, Amen. yeah, don't try to, don't listen to like marketing advice for, you know, who you want to be as a business owner, who you want to represent yourself as, you know, yeah, yeah. if you want to be like a bougie ass business owner, show that, show your customers that you're real, right? Sass, sassy, yeah, sassy now. Yeah. Like, you know, like sassy now, this is like, I'm like, like, I'm sassy, look, I have RBF, okay, <laughs> really bad. <laughs> But if you do a good job and you are who you are, people are attracted to that, they're attracted to you, yeah. they're not attracted to, you know, someone, you being someone else. Yeah, yes, definitely. Yeah, like Duba, you're honest with yourself. I'm honest like, all the time, sis. I, he's like an open book man. I'm open. If I yeah. stuffed up somebody's hair, which I hardly do anymore, thank you. <laughs> hardly. Um, it's, you know, you just got to be honest with someone. Like, for instance, if somebody comes in and says, I want pink hair. Yeah. But they wear a business suit every day. I'm going to be honest and say, okay, how do you live your lifestyle? Yeah. You know, and, and you just tell them straight, look, I think, okay, let's do one pink for it that hides underneath here. So for work, you can put it in a ponytail. Yeah. But don't forget, guys, here's her handles again. Go and subscribe to her. Also, uh, follow and like on uh, Instagram and Facebook. But while we're doing this and processing this, we're going to check back when I'm at the nail table. I love Miss Bees. <laughs> we love you, Bees. All right, this is what this is her nail table. Look at it. It's so cute. Juva made the wall himself, guys. Yes, right. it sure did. Right. Um, but what we're gonna do today? Can you show everyone what we're doing today? We're, we're going to put. Well, Juva's getting a mani. He's getting a mani. We're gonna clean up his nails, and then we're gonna put these Louis on his pinky. Yeah, uh, look at that. He has a matching bag for it too, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys, don't forget. So this is our nail technician, Twee. Don't look skinny, guys. Look at the best angle, man. Oh, that angle, that contour. <laughs> Twee, yeah. what's your favorite thing about nails? My favorite thing, the creativity. Yeah. yeah. The, the ability to just, someone could walk in and just be like, do anything you want. And I'll be like, are you sure? They'll be like, yeah. And I'll be like, okay, you got this. You got this. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Juba's getting a mani today, he's getting a mani, and then we're going to put acrylic on his two pinkies, like I said. So right now, I've just cut and shaping his nails, cut all the back, make it a nice square round, nice and neat. Has a lot of hair dye under it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm naughty, I don't wear gloves. I like to feel and touch. Yeah, I'm the same way. Yeah. So are you all about education? Yes, all about education. You can never learn enough. Yeah. You can always learn something new. Are you reading at the moment? The Bible. Yes. 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to read. Wow, scriptures that's cool. Each yeah. day, 
Yeah. We're about to wash out Tui's hair and stay tuned for the uh, after look. We're at the basin, gorse at the basin. We're taking it out. Taking it out. Let's see if she has any little hair left. Let's, let's see if it's green. <laughs> All right. All right, let's have a look at this. You excited, sis? Whoa! She blown! Yeah. Guys, so we're multitasking and we're back. We're back right here. back we're at the... Nail bar. Yes. Sassy nails. We're just um, prepping his nails to put on his tip now. He's very light-handed, very light-handed, which is good. Do you like it rough? I like it rough. rough? Yeah, I like, I like it rough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're putting a tip on. And because um, Duba's fingers are manly men nails. <laughs> <laughs> manly men nails. That's right, that's right. Um, we, put a, we put a number nine on him. Generally, you probably like would put an eight on, but I don't yeah. really like putting bigger tips on. Because when you go to shape and file, it just ends up being wide, and when it grows, that's just ugly. It's not oh, pretty, okay. guys. It's not. So just a smaller tip. It just fits his nail. Mm. We're gonna keep with this long. No. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. Are you planning on picking your nose? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's a big nose. <laughs> My uh, tip first before I put powder on makes everything so much more easier afterwards. Yes. You wanna apply your acrylic at the cuticle? You can tilt the finger down to let your acrylic fall down if it's a bit more runnier. Uh, this this liquid is not that runny, so it's really good for me. And then you slowly just pat it down, gently, gently. Wow, down. you make it look like so easy. Yeah, you gotta do it gently. Give it some love. You gotta love your acrylic, you know? Whoa, I'm going onto a lamp, people. Going on a lamp. Going onto a lamp. Do we? Yeah, put your hand in. Whoa! It's called what well, you would call a finish. Finisher. So I'm just gonna file off and smooth out the acrylic that I just applied, like so. Now this is important, guys. Like you think it's not, but it is. You need to make sure that the cuticles is all nice and clean and tight, 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 like a set of braids on your head. Mm. Like you want the sides to be nice and clean. You want it to be waterproof. You want it to be, True. you know, so nice that water won't get into it. There's so no that's what causes bubbles. lifting, Yeah, eh? that's what causes lifting. Yeah. And you know, when you get a lift, you're more prone to infections, fungus. Ah, oh, true. Because water gets underneath and it stays there. Yeah. But if you do it this way, nice and clean. Yeah. Oh. Things you learn every day. All right, fam, the important part, the Louis part. The Louis foil. So that's the foil she's putting onto my nail. Look at that. Relax, man. Relax. Oh, relax man. <laughs> I'm like stiff as shit. Relax. <laughs> I'm relaxed. She's told me to relax before, so chill out, bruh. Slap your hand next. Mm. See, but for me, I'm only getting the one. And she's made it look freaking amazing. Look at that, Louis, Louis, Louis. Yeah, if you put on the other ones, obviously there'll be a lot more Louis on the other fingers. So, I'm gonna take this off. So, coming to our salon, look, Tweez's eyes are, are closed. What's up? Uh, that's a hair color there. That's a hair color there. But this is what we also do as well. It's a reveal, so she can't see. Let's do it. I would help, but I can't see. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to look. All right, look. Ooh! It's so icy. It is. Look at you! Look at you! Like it, sis? Oh, I do so nice. All right, look at you! Happy with it, sis? Yeah. It's that little bit shorter. I know with her, she likes it a little bit shorter than what it is, but I'm feeling I'm the new hairdresser, so <laughs> are you doing what I tell you to do? No. <laughs> I can do whatever I want his nails. <laughs> Alright guys, look at Twee's hair. Look at that colour. Gorgeous. What do you guys think? Comment down below. He's still got specks of a uh, bit of yellowy through there. Just from her old colour. That's the first time we've ever done her colour. Kick. Hey. Hey. Super. Hey. So that's our hair today. Thank you very much for joining us on our podcast, Aces. You were here as a guest. I was here as a guest. <laughs> and now she's going to be here permanent. Yeah.
All right, guys, so we'll catch you later. It's been a big night for us. Thank you very much, Twee. And we'll catch you next time. Catch you later.